Do you copy? We are bugging out. Repeat. We are bugging out. Over. Roger, copy that. Bugging out. Do you have food? Over. Do you have coffee? Over. Do you have essentials? Do you have water? Over. Do you have fuel? Do you have communications? Check your tire pressure. Check your oil levels. Coolant levels. Brake fluid. Washer fluid. Before any trip, check all these things. So I think it's a good idea to have some form of communication. When you're out in the field, whether it's hiking trails, campgrounds, any kind of place where you're separated, whether it's just one other person or two or three, these are the radios I chose. These are the Midland GXT 1000. Link in the description. These work on the FRS and GMRS radio services. If you want to use anything high powered on GMRS, you need a license. It's $70 for 10 years and it covers your whole family. These I believe are less than five watts and that's the threshold. Anything over five watts, you'll need to use a license. They're easy to figure out, nice and small, lightweight. Throw them in your backpack or keep them in your car. These come with rechargeable batteries and a charging dock, but they will take regular double A's as well. If you're in different parts of a campground or on different parts of a hiking trail and you want to keep in contact, they're nice to have. We're riding out the zombie apocalypse. Welcome back everyone. We're here at base camp today and we're going to talk about our sink and water system. While putting this van together, I tried to keep things simple. This is the spot where I wanted to put my water supply so it's easily accessible. I've got two of these. And our sink for washing dishes and didn't really have a mechanism to do that. Here it is with just some simple aluminum angle mocked up attached to a piece of 8020 like the bed frame is made of. Here it is from the bottom. It's just got a few legs and bolts right up to the 8020. Rather than use any pumps or any kind of power for water, I'm just going to use gravity. Now to top this framework off, I'm going to use a piece of cutting board. I didn't want to use wood because it may frequently get wet from the water jugs. This cuts easily on a bandsaw and you can sand it and work it just like wood. Here I've got it temporarily attached to the frame. I made a mess. So part of the top will be detachable. I put some stainless steel button screws in there and drilled some holes. And then on the opposite end, this will double as a cutting board. I've got a thumb hole and a stainless screw that I'll use a bungee to attach to the framework underneath to keep it from coming off. And we'll just use gravity as our water supply down into that sink. Here's how the top mounts in place. The sink stores underneath it. It's collapsible. So you can still store things underneath if necessary. Pretty clever, right? When we get ready to go on a trip, we've also got to take some refrigerated things. This is my cooler. I find using block ice works better than bagged ice. It lasts about the same length of time, but it's a lot less messy. This cooler has a built-in cutting board as well. Mounted next to the cooler is my battery system and our porta potty. This model is made by Thetford. 
It's a popular cassette toilet. It's got a meter on the bottom to tell you how full your tank is. And then on the top, you've got a battery operated switch, another level meter for your fresh water, and a fill hole. This is the flush mechanism. These two sections come apart. Again, the fresh water goes in the top half. And then this is your holding tank section. When it's full, you simply take the lid off the drain tube and dump it out. Either at an RV dump station or a pit toilet, wherever you happen to be, make sure you do it correctly. There's an optional mounting plate available for this toilet which I put on this wooden plate to mount into the van to the seat bases in the floor with some hooks. This plate also holds my battery. And these toss-ins go into the holding tank portion of the toilet and they work great for keeping down odors. Make sure you use the correct kind of toilet paper. This stuff dissolves much more quickly than regular. Here we are packed up for a bug out weekend. Cook stove chairs, clothes, food, hiking shoes. This is all our camping gear. Extra toilet paper, of course. And, well, there might be some wine. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time.